Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Hump Day to you guys. So this is your general energy reading for Wednesday, October 16th, 2019. So this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Keep in mind also that this reading is not time sensitive. It is timeless, okay? So whenever you watch this reading and it resonates for you, that is the message for you at that time, yeah? We are doing happy hour tonight, yeah? So if you would like to join me and us for a happy hour, um, the floor is officially open. Single question readings are $25. If you'd like to get on the list, you can go ahead and send payment to paypal.me slash divine conversations um, and just send $25. Put your question in the notes section because that helps expedite the situation. We will be going live today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, on YouTube, and I will be starting with a uh, collective reading on Instagram Live. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so at divine underscore conversations. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you there. So yes, happy hump day. Um, we've made it through halfway through the week so far. It is your Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a really good week so far. Um, so I do want to say I don't really have a pre-shuffle energy here. I kind of do. Um, but it seems that the cards have really been dragging their feet lately when it comes to pre-shuffle energy. So uh, today, this morning, I decided not to force it. And yet, ironically, we I landed on a spot that feels relevant. So I want to talk about it real quick. Because as soon as I sat down and said, okay, collective energies, immediately I saw that orange color again. Um, so to me, this is really saying that <laughs> the collective is very much all up in their feels. We're all up in our feels right now. And to be quite honest, that resonates. Um, I'm feeling that. For me personally, as I've said earlier this week, for me, this is I'm taking this as a conscious time or as a, a time period to consciously really focus on practicing getting out of my own head or getting out of my own way and getting into alignment with myself, um, my inner being, source, creator, the universe, however you want to describe it, um, and getting into the flow and really consciously working my way out of some sort of negative feeling place into a more positive feeling place, um, which is indicative in which is indicative of being in <clears throat> alignment. Yes. When you're feeling good, when you're feeling happy, um, that is when you're align in alignment with yourself and with you know the universe and your situation and whatnot. Um, and those moments where you kind of fall out of that and you slip into you know a strong emotional time period or time period um, cycle or whatnot, that's you know you experiencing the contrast. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's natural. It's going to happen. <laughs> whether you like it or not, right? So just keep that in mind moving forward. Now, where we landed on the cards as I was shuffling, but when I, so once I decided not to actually, you know, require a pre-shuffle, we landed here. The Five of Swords, which you can't really see too well. It's kind of dark, but then you also have the Queen of Cups. That's also a bit dark. Um, but maybe I can adjust my lighting here to make it a little better for you guys. But um, So the Five of Swords and the Queen of Cups. However, it's this side of the card where someone is walking away from some sort of conflict here. Okay. And on the other side, well, here, look, see, you see how that guy is, that person's walking away. They're not fighting anymore, which to me feels quite relieving. Um, and then you have the Queen of Cups here in which her back is turned. Well, all backs are turned right now in this, in this situation. But um, with, the back, with the Queen having her back, back turned, um, to me this is indicative of dealing with your emotions or kind of going into a hermit mode um, and removing yourself from the conflict, removing yourself from the drama, um, and this really could be the source of your emotional purging. I'm feeling for some of you, you are starting to become aware of just how toxic certain situations are 
or maybe um, how destructive your environment is. This could be work related, you know, career wise. If you're if you're working or you're residing within a toxic environment, um, I don't see I don't really see anybody walking away so far. This is more emotionally detaching from the circumstances, from the drama, and really putting your focus on happiness and fulfillment. The Five of Swords energy, I'm really, I'm, I'm really getting an energy of it. it. For some of you, it is an awareness of the rat race. That's interesting. When was the last time we heard that term? I mean, I can't even remember the last time I used that term. The rat race, for sure but we're becoming aware of it on a much deeper level here. <laughs> this is so cool. So this is our pre-shuffle energy. And then I just landed here. I was just shuffling aimless, not aimlessly. <laughs> I was just shuffling and I landed it here and we have the two of wands with the three of pentacles. So it really looks like our pre-shuffle energies are coming out anyway, but the two of wands with the three of pentacles, especially with this side of the three of pentacles in which we have this merchant who in this case, I guess in, the, in this deck, this is representing the individual that could be funding a project, you know what I mean? Um, but he's ready to go, he's ready to build, you know, and he's ready to start doing, he's ready to start working on some stuff, he's ready to start building something new. Um, and right now with this Two of Wands energy, I feel it's almost like your inner merchant or your inner funder, um, your inner investor, there it is, your inner investor, right? Because the Three of Pentacles does represent self-mastery and I do feel like that's what we're talking about here. Um, but your inner investor is like ready to go. It's like, okay, I'm ready to invest in myself. I'm ready to start building. I'm ready to create something new. So how do we do that? Which direction do we go in? Two of Wands. What is going to be fulfilling to me? What is going to make me happy? What is going to help me fulfill my goals? What is going to help me do the work that I want to do here? The meaningful work that I want to do here. Not the typical egoic materialistic pursuits of just, you know, making as much money as I can to build as much opulence as I can. Not, not, none of that, because none of that is fulfilling for me. That's exactly what you're walking away from with that Five of Swords energy. Okay, so with the Queen of Cups, that was also um, relevant to the situation. This does, especially with the orange color that came through, which helped, which is saying to me that the collective is very much focused on their feelings right now. I really feel like right now is a time for us or whomever it is I'm channeling for, if this is resonating for you, I really feel like this is a time of getting in tune with your emotions, really understanding how you feel about something, how something makes you feel, okay? And then taking the conscious action to move in a new direction. Oh look, that seven of pentacles just flashed me. It's interesting because I forgot to, <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this. The Seven of Pentacles just caught my eye, and the reason why I was um, I'm sorry, I totally just cut myself off mid sentence. What was I trying to say? Really get down to how you feel about things and how things make you feel, and 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 what you want to do about it in terms of that, okay? And then the Seven of Pentacles caught my eye. It came out yesterday. I forgot to turn it upright, so it's still reversed. So that's why I was kind of picking it out. But now, look at what's underneath, what's with that. We have the High Priestess in which her back is turned. But in this case, you're seeing behind the veil. You've gotten a deep, you're, you're gaining a deeper understanding of the workings of the universe, the law of attraction, if you will. That was said specifically, so I'm gonna say that. Especially those of us that have been really focusing on um, Abraham's teachings. But this is understanding Oh, I just heard the law of free will also. This is understanding deeper forms of the universe, deeper f manifestation principles. And then you have the counterpart to that queen. Now you have the king of cups. Both backs are turned. But in, in, to me, this is speaking uh, to going within and focusing within, not really trying to take any advice or so any sort of guidance or direction from external sources much. Okay, other than like, okay, 
maybe me, um, if you resonate with this, but this is just, and, it's, and I'm not saying, that I'm, I am not anything, I'm not trying to say I'm anything special, you guys, like, I mean, we're all human beings, and I have this ability to channel these energies and, 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 and interpret it for you and help you guys understand what's going on around you, and for that, I'm, and to be able to do that, I'm extremely grateful, but um, please, by all means, do not take my word for absolute verbatim. Do not take my word for absolute truth, okay? I don't know much. A wise man knows that he knows nothing at all, right? Um, and I'm not trying to say that I know everything here. So please take this <clears throat> as it resonates. Take it with a grain of salt. If it fits for you, still, don't. you don't have to, you know, follow everything I'm saying to a T. Take what I'm saying, if it works for you, if it fits, feels good for you, integrate it, but integrate it in your own way. Still work with yourself, your sense of inner counsel, your sense of inner guidance to move you forward, all right? I'm just here to help shine some light so that you can make some sense, some greater sense of what's going on around you. And, and I'm going to say this also. Um, if you feel that you, and many of you have already done this, you know, over time in waves and in your own cycles. But if you feel that you need to take a step away from readings, from morning coffee even, just to, to you know, get back to center, then take a step away. We'll be here when you're ready to come back. You know what I mean? I, I, please, 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 please. This is a time for you to go within and really follow your own guidance here, okay? I'm gonna let these fall out. Uh, three of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Star. Okay. Um, wow. And then we have the Hierophant, which is the counterpart to the Queen, to the High Priestess. And his back is turned too. And I almost feel an energy, but especially with this, now we have the Seven of Swords here. I feel like you're slow. You're sneaking away from the effects of the Hierophant, okay? There is a lot, there is a still a great, a great deal of indecisiveness right now. Things are not very clear, but what we need to do is focus on being grateful. Three of Cups, gratitude, okay? Because wish fulfillment is coming, the star, and healing is coming, okay? You just have to continue following the star. You have to continue having faith that your circumstances will turn out for the best for you, okay? 11 11 on the counter all right cool so i'm gonna i'm gonna reset here so much for no pre-shuffle right <laughs> okay maybe i should do it like that more often because i really it's interesting because i really i i doing the pre-shuffle the way i had been doing it was a little upsetting for me because i like drawing the cards for the camera and then channeling right then and there i don't really like having things set up and then starting the video and talking about it you know for the skeptics out there i mean i guess your opinion as a skeptic really is just that you know an opinion um and it's not going to affect everybody there are still going to people that be people that believe but i still want to make it as authentic as possible so maybe i'll continue doing it that way anyway let's get started <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, October 16th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm gonna give this three shuffles. And then we'll see what we've got for today for the collective energy. All right, spirit. What is it you would like to discuss with us today? Ooh, snotty. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, spirit, 
What would you like to discuss with us today? Wednesday, October 16th for the collective. October 16th. What do you guys need to discuss today? All right, we have judgment so far. Ooh, yes. And it's the side of the card where we're not seeing the angel anymore, but now we're seeing the awakened individuals that have been resurrected that are back into their purity. Okay, so what I'm getting so far, and my eyes are closed as I'm still continuing to shuffle because there's more that wants to come out. I wanna get more for this. But already, with judgment, okay, this is the period of you to reacclimate, to acclimate, because we have heard this wake-up call and we've been in the process of waking up and now we're starting to get there. We're starting to be fully, well, I'm not gonna say fully awakened. I'm gonna say we're starting to become, we're coming to a level of awareness in which now we can really start to make some major changes in our lives consciously, okay? Where our manifestation abilities are being activated and thus we are standing in this position. I'm not looking at the deck. We're standing at this position here in which we're naked. We're back to our innocence, we're back to our purity, or we're coming back to that, okay? We're getting back to a deeper sense of self, all right? Let's see what else we can get here. They say one more, all right. I don't know what that is, I haven't looked. I'm not gonna look just yet. Um, I wanna uh, continue pulling. Okay. That's enough. All right, cool. Uh, you see? You see? Ah. Wow. Okay. Wow. We have overall energy. We have uh, the Knight of Wands and we have the Page of Cups. Knight of Wands here. Page of Cups here. All right. Look, there are a lot of backs turned, you guys. There are a lot of backs turned here. Okay. We have... We have judgment with the devil, the ace of cups, the world, the page of wands, and the tower. Hold on, however, I think, I think, give me a second. I am um, trying to figure out how the flow is going here for the story. We have the devil, the ace of cups, tower yes okay page of wands of the world okay so <clears throat> let's talk about this for a second because these are this is actually very very good okay now the one part of this story that i'm having trouble kind of putting in the right order is where the ace of cups and the tower came come where they fall which came first the ace of cups or the tower. And I feel like these two energies are interchangeable. But what we do have here is the devil. And yet the devil's back is turned. So what this says, and actually what the book says about this is that the, in this side of the, the card, the devil's not looking. So you can get away, okay? Um, so somehow we've gotten past or you've gotten past the devil's sight or maybe this is a, a moment in which you know the devil in his arrogance ha, 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 i'm just i'm just hey don't shoot the messenger here but in his arrogance isn't paying attention and that allows you to i just heard set the record straight but i feel like it's set the record straight for yourself thus we have the ace of cups and the tower so I'm having trouble deciphering which came first. And for many, and it, and it actually really could be interchangeable. It could be different for all of you. So that's probably why, but also it probably doesn't matter. Like I said, these energies can be interchangeable. That's what it feels like. So it feels like they may have happened together. The Ace of Cups is bringing forward a sense of self-love, um, unconditional love, divine love, filling up of your own cup, which in terms of the devil energy that you are breaking free from, there is absolutely a tower moment when someone sees the truth. See that eye right there? And thus, from your sense, place of self-love and willingness, self-love and willingness to love yourself, 
you now have a chance to break free from the devil and dismantle the constructs that he is responsible for, that he has influenced you into building. Because keep, it, keep in mind that the devil can only control you when you give your power to him. And thus we have an energy in which you are, in fact, taking the right steps to take your power back. And thus we have here Page of Wands, which is in this side of the card, you have the Phoenix rising. Okay, so um, just like this judgment energy here, Phoenix from the ashes risen, resurrection, redemption, renewal, a, a, a second chance, a new direction, whatnot, whatever. Thus you have this. So the, the energies the cycle is closing out here we are in this energy of either self-discovery or having understood a new part of ourselves or understanding a deeper part of ourselves right so the overall energy thus is the knight of wands in which lightning is striking just like on this tower card here lightning is striking and momentum is building motivation to move in a new direction it's still kind of dark right it's still nighttime scene so you're not really exactly sure of which way to go especially with this here the page of cups but the page of cups again in this nighttime scene is an energy of the dreamer is an energy of you focusing within and understanding what it is you want what do you feel about certain things what direction do you want to move in you know that's this is this is all very good. I know it feels tumultuous. I know it kind of sucks. It feels shitty in a lot of time, in a lot of circumstances, but ultimately this is a good thing. <laughs> Oof. Wow, spirit. That was low. Well, it wasn't low, but it was kind of funny. But it's true. What they said was character build building. <laughs> You're building character. All right. I mean, it's not something that I guess many of you would want to hear, but it's true. It, it's what this is. Okay, sure. All right, so let's move forward. Let's get a little bit more clarity, a little more understanding of what this energy is for you. And I don't really have an agenda here. I just want to shuffle. I want to pull the cards and then I want to interpret it and see how it all lands, how it all falls and all that. One more shuffle. Okay. All right, here we go, kids. So what is this? Let's get a little more definition here. Where are you heading? Or what can you look out for? Oh, 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 oh. Well, would you look at that? They say that's, oh, there we go. And this too. Okay. Okay. Overall energy of the 10 of cups, guys. This is where we're going. This is where we're heading, the 10 of cups. Oh my God. Oh my God. But you see what spirit just said about the 10 of cups energy is you have to create this for yourself. You're meant to create this for yourself. You didn't come down here to, to let somebody else tell you how to create your life, how to live your life. That is not why you came here. And you know what, you guys? Oh my God, I'm, I'm definitely going through this myself. So how, I'm, how this is resonating with me is I'm redefining how I want to show up in the world. How, what do I want to do for work? I mean, I love doing this, so I'm definitely going to keep doing this. But there are other things that I really want to do in life that are fun, that make me happy, that I could make a living off of, you know, should I put in the right time and the right effort and, and, and whatever, what not, whatever. And I'm feeling guided to move in this direction. So obviously there's a reason for it, but I'm having to redefine what it is I stand for. And, I'll, and, and, and I have to redefine, I have to reprogram myself to say, look, I really want to go in this direction. And just because other people don't think it's going to work out, why does that mean it's not going to work out? I mean, look at look at this. How many people do you think around me were kind of saying, maybe silently, maybe not really even saying it to my face, but silently in the back of their minds saying, oh, that's cute. He's doing these card readings. That's not going to last long. I'm sorry. 
Come again? What did you say? Because I'm pretty sure it's still happening. And we're almost two years in. And I have no plans on stopping, right? So now I'm having to redefine how I reach my Ten of Cups and not allowing the programming from the past, i.e. the Hierophant, not let the programming from the past stop me the way it has before. Strength. Now, I find it very interesting that in this deck, this is the wild <clears throat> unknown tarot deck, yes? But in this deck, strength is card number 11. Normally, strength is card number 8. But here it's card number number 11. And typically in the tarot, card number 11 is justice. So I'm feeling a little bit of a uh, uh, uh The word I heard in my head was a corroboration. I'm not sure that's the right term. Uh, that's I'm not sure that's the right word. But between strength and justice here, I'm feeling something i'm feeling a balance i'm feeling that they're they're kind of going hand in hand we also have the three of cups here in order for you to face be able to face to look this hierophant energy look this status quo in the face and say i don't agree with you any longer i'm moving in my own direction you have to have this balance between body mind and spirit and that's where we, that's where many of us already are even though, even though the energies right now feel like pretty tumultuous, very emotional, emotionally, you know, choppy, the chop, the waters are pretty choppy at the moment. You still have this, ba this balance of body, mind, and spirit, or you're cultivating this balance of body, mind, and spirit that's helping you, that's helping you move forward, that's helping you with your craft, eight of pentacles. Underneath that, you have, ooh, the queen of swords. My, my, that, is, that sure is quite fitting. This Queen of Swords energy has been coming out a lot lately. Um, but I'm going to say this is a very, very good thing. Now, it can get destructive. It can get pretty cutthroaty. Okay. But it's getting cutthroaty. If it is getting cutthroaty, it's because you are defending yourself. You are being your own champion. You are using your mental faculties to cut away anything that is spirit's favorite word lately superfluous and the queen of swords is the perfect entity to re to represent that because she of all the queens and all the kings in the deck don't you dare think about wasting her time and anything that is not helping you weave your web of dis of what your of what your ten of cups is she is ready and willing to cut that out immediately, okay? The Queen of Swords energy is your best friend right now, but you need to utilize her energy wisely. Don't just go around chopping people's heads off Queen of Hearts style from Alice in Wonderland, okay? This is not an off with their heads situation unless they're really trying to get in your way. And even then, I would not recommend you go decapitating anybody figuratively energetically or even physically okay unless it's out of self-defense don't go looking for a fight you guys however stay vigilant vigilant diligent stay diligent and keep your eyes open stay aware of your surroundings okay this is more this, this queen of swords energy is better suited as a defensive energy rather than an offensive energy okay Okay, excellent. So with that said, I wanna get Spirit's take on this now. Thank you. I said, please, Spirit, I would really appreciate it. They were like, yes, of course, we would love to. <laughs> we would love to give you our take on it. So excellent, let's see what we got. Let me give this three shuffle. And then we'll see what we got, we'll see what we got, we'll see. We'll see what we got. Ah. Here we go. I think that was the two of pentacles. Yeah. And especially in this face of this queen of swords energy. 
Oh, yes. Um, you have to stay balanced. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Oh, shoot. Seven of Pentacles and the Tower again. Holy shit. Wow. And the Knight of Wands. So it's so funny because in the Wild... Uh, no, in the, the Vice Versa deck, which is what I used for the first part of the reading here, the Ace of Wands is struck by lightning. You have the lightning striking in the Knight of Wands here. You also have the lightning striking in the Tower here in this, yes, in that card, but also, hold on, let me get to it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You have the Tower, you have the lightning striking here in the Tower, yes? Okay, so it is this... It's, 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 I'm sorry. It's the Ace of Wands, but from this vice versa deck that has helped me start to see the Ace of Wands as a little bit of a tower moment. And as I was describing the energies, I was thinking to myself earlier, wow, I won. it's interesting that we don't have the Ace of Wands here with all of this lightning that's striking. Well, here it is now, okay? Spirit is handing you, Spirit is handing you an opportunity to move you, to move into a different direction, okay? But in order for, the, for you to do that, you're going to have to clear away the crop that is no longer serving you, it's not what you want. And someone posted a comment last uh, yesterday for Morning Coffee, and it was really quite perfect, and I wanna read it. Don't worry, I'm not going to I'm not going to throw your name out there, but the way that you described this, if you're watching today, the way that you described this was really quite perfect. Here it says, "Harvest what is good, plow the rest under and replant." Because yesterday I was talking about with that 7 of pentacles that came out in reverse, yesterday I was talking about how with it being in reverse, this feels like you are completely scrapping whatever crop you had started to grow or work on in the past, like completely pulling it up, planting new, okay? And so this is what's happening here right now with Tower and the Seven of Pentacles. You've learned your lesson. You've, you've experienced quite enough. It's time to stop going in this direction that's no longer serving you, okay? So right now, right now, you gotta keep the balance. Spirit's advice here is maintain your balance as much as you can, physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, whatever. Work on maintaining as much of a balance as you can, okay, in your physical reality, while this stuff is removed, moved out of your way. While your, and it's so, per oh my gosh, you guys, this is so perfect. This is so perfect because we are in the fall season. This is the harvest time. This is when, typically, back in the day when we were when we were when we were a farming state, right? Um, you know, when daylight savings time was it, it was instated and blah blah blah. But whatever. Back in the day, this time of the year, at least here in the Northeast or in the in the Northern Hemisphere or in in the United States, um, not just the Northeast, I mean like the United States or the Northern Hemisphere or whatnot. This fall season, it, whatever, whatever. You guys get what I'm saying. The fall season was a time for collecting your crop, harvesting your crop, storing everything, and getting ready to hunker down for the winter season. In which then, once the winter season gave way and we were back to spring, that's when we would start to plant our seeds again. And there may have even been some planting. Certain crops were, I think certain crops were planted like right before the first, like the frost set in or something like that, whatever. It doesn't matter, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? So this, the, the fact that the Seven of Pentacles is so prominent right now is perfect because this is literally a harvest season, the fall, okay? Again, depending on where you are in the world, because I do know that there are others out there that, like, especially Australia, you guys are in springtime right now, moving into summer, but, but you understand. You get it. I mean, you're probably still resonating with this anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but Spirit is saying, hold steady, hold tight, okay? Because we're getting you moving, Knight of Wands. We're helping you develop this momentum. 
stay strong, stay firm in, tr in who you are and trust in your divine guidance. Alrighty, guys. This is a beautiful energy. This is a really beautiful energy. Oracle. Okay, and we're going with the dragons today. Are we going? Yes, we're going with the dragons today. No, 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 no. I want to go with the crystal mandala. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really want to go with the crystal mandala today. I feel like, because the dragons are going to be helpful. Yes, of course they are. But I feel like there's a more of a specific message. Yeah. Last shuffle here. Your oracle guidance for today. Your oracle guidance for today. Wednesday, October 16th. Best message there is. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah. You have. Card number 17, which in the tarot is the star, okay? And the star did come out in our pre-shuffle. But we have Angel Bath Call and Aquamarine, authentic voice. And this is, I mean, this is literally, literally what we're getting down to. A deeper sense of authenticity. Okay. Here we go. Authentic voice. We bring you the gift of authentic voice. We want you to know your own truths and to speak them in your own way because you have something of value to share. Your inner world, your unique viewpoint, and the person that you are. When you speak from your authentic voice, the truth of who they are as, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When you speak from your authentic voice, you help others relax, come out of their heads, into their hearts, and remember the truth of who they are as well. Your authentic voice doesn't have to sound like the voice of any other. It doesn't need to always be soft, although it is, it, although in its own way, it will always be loving. Your authentic voice has a place in this world and has been designed to be a valuable part of the sacred choir of soul voices which creates music for the universe. As you trust in your authentic voice, your ability to manifest your divine destiny will grow and your responsible use of the power of your voice will help many. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I do look forward to seeing you for happy hour tonight. And yeah. Yeah, let's leave it there. Much love to you guys. Take care. Mwah! Bye.